Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Joseph Dames. Well, happy Tuesday to everyone. Welcome back to News 10 at Midday. Check out the snow that's still on the ground here across uh, Terre Haute, and that really kept our morning temperatures very cold. Right now, though, we've warmed up to 19 degrees. We started our morning off at 2 degrees below zero. It was a frigid start to our Tuesday morning. The wind's running on the southwest right around, right around 7 miles per hour. The wind chill, 10 degrees. Not good. Not good out there. So make sure you do bundle up if you're heading out for your afternoon. Slightly warmer there in Illinois, though, along 57 down towards Flora on US 50. 23 for Alney, 24 for Effingham, 23 degrees. In Mattoon, cooler off to the southeast for Linton at 16 degrees, 18 for Vincennes, warming up to right around the lower 20s as we head through today. This is what we're tracking, just that cold start to continue as we head through the afternoon. A light snow chance as we work into our overnight hours and into tomorrow morning. And then very cold air is going to work its way in, even colder than where we are right now. Clouds for the morning, and we've even seen a few flurries passing through the Wabash Valley for our Tuesday. We look further off to the west, there's even more colder air working its way in and even more snow likely as we head through today. So we'll keep that in mind and still can see a flurry as we head through the afternoon. Our highs today reaching the lower 20s, right around 22 degrees in Terre Haute, Paris right around 22, Rockville in the lower 20s. Let's get to the future cast though. Let's move forward. Let's see what we have going on towards dinner time further on into the overnight hours. We get to right around 5 o'clock here in Indiana, 4 o'clock in Illinois. Still some clouds passing through, maybe a few flurries off to the east there in Owen County. Considering through the overnight hours, pause it right here. We get towards midnight. Another wave of snow is definitely possible as we head into the overnight hours. And with our temperatures so low and colder, we could see the snowfall a little bit higher. So we're expecting some snow to pass through as we head into the overnight hours. Maybe another round from Florida only to Vincennes, which have already collected a decent amount from yesterday. They saw some places over six inches of snow, and it's likely that we could maybe see some more, even another inch as we head through the overnight hours tonight. This wave should be mostly out of here, though, as we head through our Wednesday afternoon and into our evenings. So, like I said, we could see some snowfall as we get into the overnight hours. So, how much are we looking at? Well, this is one of our models here, one of the computer models that will show some of the snowfall potential. And as we get into tomorrow morning, could pick up maybe another inch off to the south there. Much lighter totals as you make your way off to the north. Uh, Terre Haute, maybe just two tenths of an inch of snowfall. All right, so behind the snow, a lot of cold air is going to be working its way in, and that's going to make the seven-day forecast not looking very good. I'll have a look at that in just a second, but if you want any updates, of course, WTHITV.com, Storm Team 10 weather app. As we headed to tonight, we'll be falling down to right around 19 degrees. Overnight light snow is possible, as we saw, turning colder and breezy. We look at the seven day forecast and like I said, very cold air is going to work its way on in three degrees below zero on our Thursday, uh, just a high in the single digits for our Thursday afternoon. So Thursday will be the coldest day of the week. Make sure that you are staying warm then and being prepared for that. Bring the pets in, everything like that. Friday, a high of 19 degrees, starting off our morning Friday at 3 degrees below zero. Then we warm up as our next system moves on through on Saturday. That could bring a wintry mix and even some more snowfall for our weekend. It looks like it's going to be a relatively active weekend here across the region. Sunday, a high of 30 degrees before we cool right back off on Monday at 13. This is the next seven days, Rondrell, are going to be pretty cold.